Good morning, students. This video is to help give you all you need to know to complete the course enrollment process for the courses you'll take next year. Juniors will start with you. You will enroll in a one-on-one -on -one session with your counselors. You can use You Can Book Me to book an individual appointment with your counselor. There's no advantage to going first, so take your time and make sure you know what classes you want to take. Sophomores, you will meet during your World Lit classes with your counselors. Um, you'll get more information from your World Lit teachers on the exact date and time that you'll meet. Freshmen, you will meet during your PE classes. Uh, the PE classes will meet over two days. You'll get more time, uh, more information from your PE teachers about the exact day you go. For all students, your course recommendations are viewable in PowerSchool. So take a look and see what your teachers have recommended you for. Uh, if you have any questions about that recommendation, you should meet with your teacher about it and then talk to the appropriate department supervisor if you'd like to change it. Hi students, I am Mrs. Fernbach, one of the counselors at Vernon Hills High School. And in your Google Classroom, you are gonna have a number of items, one of which is an electronic version of your course requests. And in filling out this course request, I want you to remember a number of things. First of all, of course, type in your name, and then there are two semesters. Please put in your courses that you need for each that you would like for each of your semesters, uh, first semester, second semester. If you have any questions about that, please talk with your teachers about their recommendations seniors to be you will have to put in each semester but remember you may not get exactly uh, that semester requested because we will have to balance classes as well as sometimes we have to offer a class only one semester instead of the other there is also a place for physical education so talk with your PE teachers about which class you would like to um, enroll in, whether it's uh, ELF or outdoor ed, lifeguard training, strength training, dance, there's a number of classes that you can request for PE. Uh, there's also a spot for lunch. For those of you that are in winds and percussion or chamber choir, you can put that in there. There's also a box for summer school. So if you are thinking about doing summer school, please put in uh, the class that you're thinking about taking there. You can discuss it with your teachers, you can discuss it with your counselor as well, but make sure and discuss it with your parents so that you know that you'll be available for that time in June and or July. There is a place for your signature. Please electronically sign the form that you get in your Google Classroom. Please also talk about this with your parents. They really want to know what classes you're interested in taking. If they have any questions, please have them talk to your teachers, call your counselor, and please have them electronically sign this form. They do want to see what you're taking, and we do want to see that you've talked about it with your parents as well. So once again, please fill out this form, and when you see your counselor, we will discuss the classes with you. And if you have any questions before that, stop by anytime uh, or email your counselor. Thanks. Some general info for you to be aware of. The minimum class load is five classes plus PE. Seniors must take two semesters of English or a full year of English course. Two semesters of PE, one semester of government, and one semester course to satisfy the consumer education requirement. You have the choice of these three options. Students, some points to remember. Please take your time, consider your classes carefully, and come prepared to your appointments. You won't be able to change classes, so please make sure that you're intentional with the courses you select. Also, if you're considering taking an AP course or an honors course, consult your current teacher. See what they think and if it's a realistic expectation for you to be able to handle that course. Lastly, if you want to manage your graduation requirements, use the curriculum guide online under academics on our VHHS website. Thanks for your attention and have a great day.